It's The Local Show on News Radio 570 WSYR, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show is locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, your hosts. Tom and Steve. Welcome back and welcome in. This is our number two of The Local Show. Get ready for engaging interviews with Charlie Van Patten, owner of Mattress Makers. Matt Major stops by. He's the founder of your local IT department. Brian Dumond is the president of Geddes Federal Savings and Loan, and he'll stop by, along with uh, Tony Emmy, who will wrap us up. He's a partner in the Emmy Family Farms. They are a wonderful family that's uh, around here and part of Onondaga Grown. So, Tom. Yes. So Steve? have you have you put all your 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 professional disc jockey <laughs> stuff in the trailer and lock it for the winter? Are you done, or how many more? You got oh, a lot no, more? Oh no, no, we're in the height of the season now. Are you? So you yes. So every, every weekend, October all the way up is big. November, and actually, uh, Mr. Matthewson, who was here, yeah. his son is on October fourth. We're we're playing his uh, wedding. Okay, so, so you're going, or, in, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, November fourth. November. So yeah. so things go into November. People don't. Oh yeah, yeah, right into November, about middle of November, and then you, I'm done. You going to drag to some little Christmas little. parties this year? Yeah, and then we have a bunch of Christmas parties, actually. Yeah, so so so, so those new speakers still work, or do they stop? Yeah, they're <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> wonderful speakers. Yeah, they're a little lighter, you know, easier to carry around. Well, I can load Kelly up like a pack mule now. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> strap move it, down. woman, move this, woman, move it. Walk those in for me, would you? Yeah, <laughs> well, I know Nicole over at uh, Pepsi, I know they, they had a good time. She yeah. told me that on the side. She's like, oh, Tom, Oh, that was, job. you know, and and I, I don't do enough uh, of those types of parties anymore because usually it's high-end weddings, which is a lot of pressure. you got to pronounce names and, you know, look uh, right presentable. <laughs> Where, whereas, <laughs> like, you know, parties and stuff are just so easy. You just play whatever. But, yeah, yeah now you got specific stuff. But, yeah, it's all good, buddy. All good. And you got to do it because, you know, eggs are like, like I said, I went over to <laughs> the Sparrows there and uh, um, went in and bought, I don't know, five products. And it was like $82. Yeah. We go to Wegmans. Judy crazy. comes back. She got one bag. She goes, $79. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> $79 for what? As we were growing up and when you and I were, you know, in our first decades of marriage yeah. and everything like that, you never went to the grocery store and, and you know, uh, looked labeled your bags by number. And, right. and said, you know, this is seventy nine dollars. This is ninety dollars. Yeah. You didn't even think about it. You just went and you did your thing, and it was. But now, wow, you know, Binomics is really yeah, rocking. Binomics. Uh, I, I'm waiting for the it's commercials rocking. of what they what that's accomplished. I'm waiting for the commercials. <laughs> crazy man. Yeah, Charlie Van Patten's been around long enough. I, I know that. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you been a businessman and all that. You've seen it. You, you weren't around during the depression, were you? No, but I heard about. <laughs> what an awful question, I'm Tom. Just wondering. What I don't know. Terrible no. question. Yeah. Uh, I was born shortly after the depression. Okay, right. right. Yeah. yeah, I'm a depression baby. Right. Yes. No kidding. But yeah. but you you come from a, a generation of people where moms and dads had to really you know watch what they spent. Right. You know you you didn't waste things. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and I had two older brothers and. Whoever was the last one to get dressed didn't always find clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of shared all the clothes, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> That's good. Good thing you didn't have sisters. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Would, wouldn't matter today, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> today, they celebrate that, of course. Uh, but uh, when did your business start uh, with this uh, mattress Believe makers? it or not, 1915. Same That's family. It. Wow. Right, right. So you guys had to go through the Depression, actually, the as a did. business. The family did. We did, and believe it or not, at 433 Holly Ave in the middle of the Depression, the building burned down. <gasps> when, where you were making mattresses? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, on Holly Ave. There was a spark flew off a motor. Oh, my goodness. The guy goodness. couldn't get up there and put it out. And But we're still here. We started over. Yeah, yeah, that's something it. else. Was it always mattresses? You mentioned something about rugs at one point. What, well, what, yeah, what, we came to do rugs, mm -hmm. and then, of course— we did all the rugs for the movie theaters, but you'd have to go down there 11 o'clock at night and pick them up, get them oh, back God. the next day. Yeah. But we did all the mansions on James Street, and we had an unemployed mattress maker. Christmas time, no mattresses, you know. So he was looking for work, and rugs still get dirty in the winter, you yeah, know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He said, you know, 
you guys are servicing, redoing all those mattress uh, rugs, rugs up on James Street. You should be doing their mattresses. Son of a gun, guess what? Yeah. We're in the mattress business. Jeez, that's <laughs> You know, nice. Edward Sewell, Hancock, if there's a name in Syracuse, we did their mattresses. You know, people don't realize that all of that James Street was mansions. Uh, yeah, some of and those buildings. Highland Ave right. and, and down into Sedgwick and everything like that. There was a lot of mansions here. Absolutely. Yeah, Steve, well, uh, you should be living in one of those. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, you know, now <laughs> a lot of rugs, a lot of mattresses. So, so you know, unlike Wegmans, uh, um, or no offense to Wegmans or anybody, uh, <laughs> you sell direct from the factory. Uh, what's been going on at Mattress Makers? Oh, you know, we're just moving right along. Uh, you know, we believe in the Kiss principle. Keep it simple. You know, it's it's not complicated. If you go on and try and review and find the best buy. You're out of luck because it's all sponsored, you know? Of course, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, come to us. We'll keep it as simple as we can, explain just exactly what's going on. Um, you know, when you go to a mattress store to buy a mattress, you know they're going to say, well, what should I buy? You're going to get directed to the mattress that has the highest commission. This is oh, no sure. joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's just common sense, right? Right. The sales and losses, the best commission. That's what you're going to get shown. And with us... It's what's best to fit you regardless of the price. If it's an inexpensive mattress and that's your budget, we've got it. If you want the best organic mattress in the world, we've got it at half the price. I mean, I went shopping not too long ago, and I started out with a price of $5,800 was the first mattress they wow. showed me. Fantastic commission on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got it. It wasn't organic either. We have a total organic mattress for half that price. No it's just it's unbelievable twice. what we can do because we are direct. We eliminate the middleman. We make it simple. Yeah. And look, if you look at the reviews online, you yes. know, everybody's like, they always say, Charlie did this and Carol did this and Charlie did this and Carol. It's, it seems <laughs> right. like it's personal. Yes. Yes. And uh, we will go to any extreme to satisfy the customer, whatever whatever they need. You know, I mean, we, a few years ago, a woman commenced. Oh, I went to the store and I bought this mattress. She's like 80 years old, lives in Brewerton. Mm -hmm. She said uh, they delivered it, and I went over and I touched it. It was hard as a rock. She said, wow. that's not what I bought. I can't, I can't sleep on that. The driver said, you own it, and left. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you see, she that's went true. to the store, and she laid on a queen-size mattress that had yeah, been there yeah. for a while, and she bought a twin, which is smaller and more compact, Uh we took care of her. She yeah. was happy. Yeah. Well, that's good. So if, if somebody orders a, a mattress from you, how long does it take to, to make it? Because a lot of them you make after somebody orders, right? Oh, most everything we make yeah. to order. But when I say make to order, that's a little simpler because, you know, we've got to bring in the raw materials. We've got mm -hmm. to stage them. We've got to open up the spring units. We've got to quilt. We've got to cut. We've got to sew. So the final assembly can be a day or two. So if you know, <laughs> it sounded like something. you was going to say a year, yeah, right? right. It, 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 that sounded like a week to me. But, when, but. <laughs> when, but, but you do see it when you walk in. Again, they're on uh, Bridge Street across from Fleet Feet. They're yes. behind Henry Wilson Jewelers. Sure. You see it all. You see the quilting machine. Right. And you see the the, the 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 makings of the bed, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we're not fancy, but that's. <clears throat> the, the idea of a factory. Yeah. Factory yeah. is not yeah. fancy. So, so real quick, you mentioned before we were on the air, um, you're going to have a Columbus Day sale? Yes, coming, starting coming Monday, S we're going to have a Columbus Day sale. Hopefully we can uh, so give you an extra 10% I know last off. time. There we go. I know last time you did that, uh, a lot of people showed up. So not only factory price took advantage of the, the extra 10% off. So uh, Monday to Monday, and yes. that's uh, Bridge Street. But also, uh, yeah. I know we forget. No, nope, can't and, forget. And we get yelled at. This. So, so <laughs> yeah. the factory is there, and there's only one real factory direct store because there's only one factory right across <laughs> from Chick Fil A in Cicero. Uh, it says mattress makers there. Sure. So, if I don't say that, I get in trouble, and I don't want, don't want to get in trouble because I'm. You know, <laughs> right. So uh, mention Tom and Steve, and we'll give you an extra. And they'll, they'll let you in. <laughs> it's, it's a speakeasy mattress place. <laughs> Next, yes. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, Charlie. Have a great rest of the day. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Matt Majors comes by next. He's the founder of your local IT department. We're going to talk tech on the local show on 570 WSYR.